it's Nix. Um, today we are going to try canning some beans and some carrots. I've pre-washed, chopped up, peeled and everything. Um, I'm sure you don't need to watch us doing all of the admin. Um, here's what's left from our beans and carrots. This is going to be going to the chickens. I'm sure they're going to love that. So here we have enough beans for two litre uh, canning jars. Um, in America, that would be a quart. Um, here in South Africa, we use the metric system. So this is the jar that I'm using. It's a standard canning jar with a, a ring that comes off and this dome cap that is what forms the seal. So we fill our jar up with whatever we're gonna be canning. Um, put this dome cap on, put the ring around it, and then it is going to go into a water bath. Um, we are not gonna be using a pressure cooker to seal our cans. We do have a pressure cooker, but the seal's gone, so we need to just have that sorted out. So, we are going to start with our beans. We're going to blanch our beans for one minute. We're then going to put them into our console jars and fill it with boiling water with a little bit of vinegar. Uh, because vegetables aren't very acidic, we are going to add just a little bit of vinegar. Um, so this is, the, this is the vinegar that I'm going to use. Once we've filled our jars, we are going to take some vinegar and run that just along this top lip here on our jars, just to make sure that there's nothing sitting on here before we put it in the water bath to ensure that it, it takes a proper seal. This is not one of the jars I'm going to be using today. Um, we've pre-sterilized five jars that we're going to be using. So two for beans, three for carrots. Um, this jar we're going to be using later on in the week. We are going to do some peaches, apples, and pineapples throughout the week. So watch out for that video as well. Um, okay, I'm going to go blanch my beans, and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to add my beans into the water. Let's try not to splash it all over the place. Okay, so these are going to blanch for about a minute. In the meanwhile, I've got my two pots getting ready to water bath my vegetables. Um, we've put towels at the bottom of each of these pots um, because it's gonna get very hot and the pots are gonna be in here for about three hours. We don't wanna risk this boiling too quickly and cracking one of our bottles. So the towel goes on at the bottom just to make sure that doesn't happen. And over here, I have my lids. Um, so here is my ring and underneath is the dome caps. They are sitting in boiling water just to make sure that they're completely sterile before we put them onto our jars. Okay, so my beans have been blanching for a minute. I'm now going to start scooping them into um, my jars. This jar we've put salt and pepper in um, just to add a little bit of flavor. And in this jar we've put in salt, pepper and a little bit of chili flakes. We haven't put chili flakes in both jars because there are kids in the house and we don't think that they will appreciate chili. Okay, so I'm just going to transfer my beans into my jar. And then once I've done that, I'll be back to show you the next step. Okay, so I've put my beans in my jars. Uh, whenever you're canning, you need to leave a little bit of headspace in the top to allow for a little bit of expansion. So now I'm going to pour some boiling water over both of my cans, or jars as it were, stopping just below where the threading 
starts. Then I'm going to take a chopstick. You need a plastic or a wooden implement and you just go around the side just to make sure that there are no air bubbles that are trapped inside here. I use a chopstick because it's nice and handy. So you can see my water level has dropped slightly while I'm doing that, which means that there was some air trapped inside my beans still. So we'll just fill it up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna add just a touch of vinegar to this and go around with my trusty pokey stick again. I'm going to do the other one and then we'll seal them up. Okay, so I've filled my jars up with boiling water. I've added a tiny little bit of vinegar into each one and I've tried to get the air bubbles out as well as possible. Now I'm just taking a cloth with a little bit of vinegar and I'm going around the edges that is very, very hot. Just burned my finger there. So I'm just going around these edges with the cloth with some vinegar on. I'm trying very hard not to touch this top section that needs to be sealed. I don't want any oils or anything from my hands getting onto these. So now I'm gonna take my tongs Get my dome caps. Well, I just will take these rings out of my way. Oops. Okay, these are very, very hot, so I don't want to stick my hand in there. So, putting my dome cap onto there. Oh, that's two together. They're sticking together. Okay, I got them unstuck. So I put in the second one onto there. I'm trying very hard not to touch these. Um, it is very difficult because I, I do work with my hands a lot. Right, so now we put our rings on. And we close them till they're finger tight. It's very hot. Okay, I've got this one on a little bit skew. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we've got them on finger tight. Now we're going to use our bottle grabby and we are going to carry these over to the pot. <laughs> okay, that's the first one. Second one. Okay, now we're going to let these just chill out in here for about three hours. In the meanwhile, I've got my carrots busy blanching over here. So I'm going to finish off the carrots and put them in their water bath. And then once the three hours are over, I will be back and show you what to do next. Okay, here are my carrots in their jars, lids on, uh, rings, finger tights, and I'm now gonna put them in their water bath and they will sit there for three hours. Here we have our beans and carrots that we canned yesterday. They've had 24 hours to cool down completely. I'm not sure if you can see in the video, 
but this dome cap that's on here is slightly concave. I'm not sure if you can see that. And if we try and pick it up, you'll see that that is not coming off at all. So then we know we've got a good seal. Often if this is still slightly convex that means that you haven't got a good seal uh, because as it cools down the it basically sucks the the dome cap down and that is what gives you your seal so if we look at our carrots we've got a good seal on there if we look at this thing of beans we've got a good seal on there it's quite heavy so I can't quite pick it up with my fingers but you can see it's that's not coming off so we're gonna store this um, we are gonna store it without the rings for up to one year um, we are gonna keep the rings off um, some of the research that we've done they've said that if you keep the rings on it it can break the seal so we are gonna store them exactly like this until we need them or decide that we want to eat them. If you don't have a good seal on your, your bottles, it's not a crisis. You can store it in the fridge and it should be fine for about a week.